Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add Roman and numeric page numbers in Word. So I'll be showing you how to add those in one single Word document. So it's actually pretty easy. You just need to follow the steps that I'll be showing you. But before we start, make sure to check out the latest offer that we have under this video. So let's get started. Now, first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your Word document. So I created this Word document here. It's just a random haze that we have here. So for example, how do you actually create a document wherein a Roman and numeric page are actually on one document? So it's actually pretty easy. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to identify the section or the section of that page where you want to start a specific counting. So I have three pages here. So for example, I want to actually add numeric numbers here for our, for our first and second page. But for our third page here, we want to convert it to the Roman numeral type. Now, how do we do this? The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the last page where in the uh, no normal or the numeric page will end. So this, since we are going to end it at our second page, we want to locate the last section of that page. So that last section is going to be around this section at the very bottom. So what we need to do is we want to go to layout and under layout, you want to click on break. And from here, you want to go to section breaks and you just need to click on next page. Now here, it's going to create this break here for our pages, but it's going to, going to be really helpful later on. Now here, what you need to do next is you want to go back into your page here at the very first one. You want to go to insert and here you want to look for page numbers. So first thing, you want to click on the drop down here. And here, let's go to format page numbers. Now here, typically this is where we set if you want to add numbers or numerics or Roman numerals for our pages. So for example, we want to add numer numerals for this one. Now from here, we're going to keep all the settings as we would in here and just click on OK. Now from here, let's add our page numbers. So we want to add this at the very top. So as you can see, those numbers are now added. So this is one and two. So let's go to our third page here. So as you notice, this is going to be number three. So next thing you want to do is you want to select your page here. Now here, let's go to insert. We want to go to page number. And from here, we want to format page number. Now here, instead of numer numerals, we want to switch this to Ro Roman numerals instead of numeric, I mean. So here, let's just choose this one. And here, we uh, I, I other than using the continue from previous section, we want to use the start at. So since we want to start this at one, so let's just input I here and just click on OK. Now, as you can see, when we change this specific section here, so let me just zoom in real quickly so you can see. So this is going to be I right now. So as you can see, it retained I because we wanted to start it at I. Now, when we go back into our previous pages, you see we retained the two. So the reason behind this one is because this document actually now considers these two pages to be different sections. So that wh that's why we were able to add different uh, page numbers. So... Yeah, so that's basically it. So it's actually pretty easy. You don't have to uh, scurry around and find other solutions. It's actually quite easy. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.